So, it's, uh, it's Friday. We're supposed to do Finish Object Friday today. Um, not gonna happen. So, if you're new to my channel on YouTube or you're a new patron, because during the month of October, I'm making all of my Patreon videos public to see where that goes and see how that works out. Welcome! On Fridays, usually I do a Finish Object Friday. That is, of course, contingent on me finishing something. And not this week. But we're going to talk about other stuff because I also like to do a little bit of a review. So, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a Radian Nawari. I'm the resident witch and creatrix over to Radius Hand. And Aeneas Divine, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life through art, intuition, and energy work. So, on Monday... I dropped in to tell you that I was having a shit week and things were not going well and I was just done and over it. Um, it, it between waking up late and a sick child and anxiety and stress, just everything went woo downhill really, really quickly, which is a thing. Um, and I was just, I was done. I was ready to throw in the towel for the rest of the week and I really didn't have high expectations for anything following. And I would say, um, self-fulfilling prophecy this week. So I didn't, I haven't really caught up in anything. Um, it, uh, right now under my phone tripod setup right now, I have got <laughs> it open to Wednesday the 9th and I have not transcribed everything from Tuesday over to Wednesday. That also needs to be migrated over to Thursday and then today. So that just tells you where I am. Um, and part of why it's not transcribed over, it's just, it's a lot. I have a two page per day planner with the Franklin Covey uh, planner system and it is the classic size. I just have to think about that because their names are weird. Which is really close to uh, an eight and a half by 11 turned sideways. So I think European sizes is an A5. Like A5 is more accurate than the eight and a half by 11, but because those are European sizes, that's like the closest we can get in the United States to really having a clear picture of what it looks like. It's slightly smaller than that. But I think it's done metrically. So I don't even know what the exact dimensions are done. I'll have to do that. I'll have to look all this up one day so I can start saying it correctly. Anyway. Um, but my entire second page, which is basically just a bunch of lines. In fact, let me just show you one. I have my, uh, thing from December next to me. So, hmm. This is what it looks like. Random day I've opened it to. We've got this side, which has all the itemized numbers and everything. So you have a schedule. Then I have a task list over here. And then this is the second page and it's just blank. It's just lines. That whole second page <laughs> for like the last week has been full. Which usually it's half full. Um, that's just how behind I am. So. Oops and shit. Um, so because there's so much to write at the end of the day, which is usually when I go and do it. I try to give myself as much time to get as much done as I can. Before I transcribe over. Because, you know, I, I never know what I'm going to sneak in at the end of the day. I never know what else other things I might be able to squeeze in or get done at the last minute. And so I don't like to migrate tasks forward. Then I then have to mark off or, or erase or um, white out because I write in pen um, later because I, it's fun to be a waste of resources that doesn't need to be wasted. And I don't use pencil because I color code everything. And... Yeah, <laughs> so pen it is, but that means that I will wait till the last minute to migrate my stuff over, which means if I'm really tired, uh, I just won't do it. And that's usually what ends up happening. Actually, uh, th the other thing is I did a little um, self-hypnosis experiment last night. I'll talk about, more, about more, more about that at some other time, maybe a couple after I've done it a couple times since I can report more findings. It was very interesting though. I'll, I'll tell you that. Um, especially since I'm skeptical and like, mm, I don't know. But, um, I think hypnosis is also not what most people think it is. And I think any, a lot of people who think 
that hypnosis is X, Y, Z. And then they're like, oh, well, it doesn't work on me. And that's part of because they think it's something that it's not. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, stuff. Things. Um, trying to see where I am. Mm, so many words. I have managed to show up here mostly on time and on time is relative. Um, so it is 1:20 when I am recording this video, usually the way I have it set up or the way I've done it before, just insider view is at one o'clock is when I want to record or start working on my Patreon video for the day. So if I haven't drafted it, that means I would be start drafting at one, which means probably by about 1:30 I would be doing the recording. And since my recordings run from a couple of minutes, usually max of 15, to max of about 30-ish on a regular basis, that's enough time to get that all done. And that way I can yay, progress. So then I started trying to do something where on Saturday I set up the drafts for the next week. And that really is meant to be a time saver. Because the thing with it is, is when you wait till the day up to do stuff, you're not as efficient at getting stuff done because chances are really there's more to the task or excuse me, there's more to the project than you're realizing or than you're giving yourself credit or space for. And when we know how to do something, we have a tendency to overestimate um, how quickly we can do things or, you know, or, to put it another way, underestimate the amount of time things take, which I am absolutely famous for in this because I have a really poor relationship with time. It is cognitively difficult for me to understand the passage of time. I, I understand that time passes, but I, it's, it's all very relative to me. So a few minutes to a few seconds to a few hours, it's all kind of the same. Which is another story for another time. Maybe later this month. Maybe. I keep hinting to that. Yeah. Anyway. Um, as a result. Um, it's just, I find for me and my distractibility. Yay. Dee -dee, um, that it is easier and better for me to plan as much stuff ahead and set as much stuff up ahead of time. So when it goes to do the thing, when it's time to post the thing, when it's time to hit play or publish or share or whatever, all of the prep work is done. Kind of like when you're cooking, right? If you go to make a meal from scratch, right? And you haven't cut any of the vegetables and you haven't prepared everything and hell, you haven't even read the recipe so you don't know what you need. So maybe you don't have everything you even fucking need, which is the thing and a really ineffective use of your time. Then what ends up happening is shit takes way longer than you think it's going to take because you weren't ready. Now, when you take the time to read the recipe, well, you can make sure that you have everything you need to include materials because sometimes you need a special pot or a utensil or a blender or whatever. And then if you take a step further and then you prep, uh, within reason, because some things are difficult to do, right? Make sure the meat is defrosted. Make sure the vegetables are cut up. Um, you know, do as much of the stuff a ahead of time as you can, then that means the whole cooking process usually takes way less time. Because although prep work doesn't in and of itself take a whole lot of time, all the prep work, all the preparation, all the cooking, and the waiting, and the cooling, and the whatever, yeah, that takes a lot more time. <laughs> because of course it does. You're doing basically twice the amount of work. Ish. 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 Because that's, that's also super relative because the amount of prep work usually is really short compared to the amount of cooking time. But it really depends on what we're talking about. If you're, you know, baking, you may be baking for 30 to 45, 60 minutes, right? But you're probably only mixing for anywhere from 5 to 15. But if you're making something on the stove top quickly, the times can be about the same depending on how you're cooking anyway. So I'm a nerd. I don't like to cook. I don't like to bake. Ooh. So, um, 
that is something that I've noticed about how I work, which hopefully in sharing this, it makes you think about how you work, you know, um, do you like to prep? Do you not like to prep? Uh, do you find that when you prepare yourself, you work more efficiently? And another thing is just, I said, so I said task earlier and I really meant project. The task is a single step. So drafting my Patreon video notes, which I did right before I started this, <laughs> which is what I'm looking at over the top of the camera. That is a step. There's one step. There's one thing to do. Uh, my whole Patreon system which is drafting notes, recording the video, transferring the video to my computer, uploading it to YouTube, uploading it to Patreon, sharing it on social media. Those are all part of a system, part of a project. There are several tasks. And even some of those have subtasks, like sharing on social media has subtasks. Social media is not the singular one place. It's one platform. It is several platforms that I use. And so, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, what's that? Tumblr, technically. Yeah, so that also, like, makes a difference. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why it's really easy to underestimate the amount of time you need. Because do you have a cognizant grip on how many steps that you have to perform? And I think, as far as me, this is what it comes out as, because I know how to do something... I assume that it's therefore easy, and if it's easy, it should take less time. That is not how that works at all. Um, things take the time they take. They just do. So if, you, if something needs five minutes, it needs five minutes. Anyway, so yeah, I've, I just keep running out of time and thinking I could get things done faster. And the best way around that for me is to, you know take out as much prep work and extra stuff as I can by doing it sooner, which doesn't actually lessen the amount of time total that I spend doing anything, right? If it takes me five minutes to write the, the, uh, draft, then five minutes is how long it takes me to take the draft. But writing it ahead of time, I can get in the zone, write a bunch of drafts and then have that mindset and get it done faster versus a stop, start, stop, start, which I think is usually really what ends up taking so much time is the stop and the start and the switching from this task to this task to this task to this mindset to this mindset to this mental frame to another one is really where a lot of time is wasted. And on an individual level, it's not that much time, but it's enough time that it's an inefficient use thereof. That makes sense. Yeah, we're just going to go with it. And this is just my, this is my anecdotal noticing because I am all about time management and all about getting things done efficiently. And I do not like wasted time. So I think about this stuff a lot. All that being said, when I set things up, they do get done better, quicker, because then I don't have to do things on the fly at the last minute. And I've had time to think about things. So if I did forget something, I'm not having to do everything and then double check everything and then edit, right? Because the mind frame that we have when we draft something versus when we edit and revise it is not the same. And so it can be easy to skip over things. And when you know what you mean, you have a tendency, your brain will fill in things that aren't there because you know they're supposed to be there. Which is really evident if you ever read something and there's like a word missing or wrong. A lot of people will read it as it's supposed to be written, even if that's not actually what's there. Which is it's something funny that a lot of people don't think about it, but I've, I've seen and heard people do it all the time. I've done it too. So it's not a big deal. And it's not a big deal. It is your brain trying to fix things. It's just, if you're trying to read stuff, uh, what's actually there, and you're interjecting or taking out words, well, that's not what you're doing then, right? You're not reading what's there. You're just you're correcting it you're editing it as you go as it will as it were so i did manage though to um on top of showing up here mostly on time which basically is i, I don't want to be putting my videos up at the end of the night 
it's not what I want to be doing. And, it, and sometimes that's a lot of times what happens is I have gotten carried away. I have run out of time. Oh shit. I got to go do this. I've got to go do that. And like right now it's one thirty, So I've been on this for 15 minutes, which I swear I would have been 10 minutes, but it's 15 minutes. Apparently according to the timer at the top of the screen, but, um, just got lost. Okay, showing up. Um, yay, help. So, showing up just means me not posting at the last minute. And it also means that if I have it ready by, like, 2 o'clock, that, ha that has all this time. And I, that was also before when I was uh, relying on a different way of moving my videos from my phone to my computer. And now I've got a way that's a lot more efficient. And so doing that, so I don't need the extra lead time basically to get it done and wait for it to be done. Yay, internet. But that was part of it. Anyway, uh, let's see. Something popped up on my screen. I can't see. So I have shared some of my, in my artistic musings. I have a bunch that I've been basically trying to post once a week. Um, I actually, one of them is about running out of ideas, and that's why I have them spaced out. And the funny thing about that is you don't really run out of ideas. Running out of ideas is this, this scarcity idea and this is falsehood. It's not actually how things work because that predicates the idea that ideas come exclusively and solely from you, like out of you, from you, without interaction into anything else. And that is not how ideas happen. Ideas are connections that we make with other things. And then they bring other things. And that's, you know, what ideas and inspiration really are. Which I will find the post and link it. If it's not posted yet, I will retroactively link it. I'll go, go back and whenever it gets posted live, I'll share it. It is going to be here in my artistic musings though. And for shits and giggles, I'll link that whole tag so you can see all of them. Because uh, they're, pretty, they're, they're pretty damn good. Thank you very much. So I started doing that and I caught up on a few that I needed to share. Most of that actually was Wednesday evening that I did. Uh, no. Thursday. Sorry. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I also have this new marketing thing I was trying out. Um, it's a little overwhelming. And I had a brief talk with another artist who's a colleague of mine and a friend of mine. And, um, they're remarkably good at asking practical questions <laughs> that help me sort things out, which is great because while I am reasonably smart, it is really hard for me to get outside of the mess inside my head sometimes. So shout out to, to Lisa. Yeah. Uh, and I know you'll see this cause I'm going to send the video to you. Not that you're going to be able to watch it, but I'm going to send it to you anyway. Yay, thanks. You're awesome. I appreciate it. Um, but I need to map everything out so I can visually see it. Uh, because trying to visualize it inside the noise inside my head is not working. So if I can see it outside of my head, it'll be a lot easier. But um, I've got something set up for this week. I've got some ideas set up for next week that I want to try out. Some ideas for the week after. And a few for the week after that. Uh, so yeah, it's interesting. And then everything else that I've been meaning to do, all the admin stuff and the pattern writing, yeah, not even, not even a little bit happened. So, uh, while I didn't really finish anything, I did make some headway on stuff, so that, that matters. And my question for you today is, what have you finished this week? How do you feel about it? Um, yeah. So, if you want to check the, the post below, I will link the artistic musings in general, the whole tag, that's all here, and they're all, all the... All of those posts are public and they're going to remain public because I want them to help as many people as possible. So them being public helps me do that. I'm also going to look for the, I think I have a couple actually that are about inspiration and ideas and idea generating. And I, I know actually I've got at least two more. There are different forms. So I gotta, I gotta set those up too. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, 
drop below the video and leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for being here. And tomorrow, let's see tomorrow. Tomorrow we're supposed to do studio share, which actually means I'm probably going to try and do that earlier because I have stuff to do tomorrow. And it also means I'm going to have to clean up in here a little bit. So, all right. Thanks. And I'll see you tomorrow.